Before I try to get the money, so right here, prison policy expert. And today, this video is. I gave birth to my son in jail. I'm shackled and handcuffed to a bed. My sentence was actually 10 years. I came from a good family. I went to good schools. Woo. And that really speaks to the fact that anybody can get caught up, which is why we all should care when there are policies concerning incarcerated people and what's going on behind the wall and the conditions of prisons. Dominic actually went home with his dad from the hospital. His dad, thank God, was like the best thing that ever happened. It doesn't matter what school you went to. It doesn't matter how high your education is. It doesn't matter who your family is. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter what skin color you are. You can end up behind the wall. It sometimes doesn't even matter what you've done or if you've done. Now that's cute. That is adorable. I took Dominic to see Jennifer because I wanted them to have a close relationship when she got out. Sharnice is my best friend. I've known her for over 10 years. I met her while I was in prison and we've stayed best friends since I got out. Once they get out to reach out to the friends and the bonds and the relationships that they've developed while they're incarcerated, especially while you're on parole. Like they're like, oh, don't talk to anyone who's been in the system or who is in the system for the entire two years, however long your parole is. And it's just completely unrealistic. It's a total catch 22 because speaking to the prison system, y'all didn't help me with keeping strong bonds with my outside networks. And now that all of those have weakened to the point of being non-existent aside from maybe parents if they're still alive, depending on how long your sentence is. Now that I'm out and those relationships ain't strong and the ones that I had while I was in were the only ones that I had. And those are the ones that are strong. Now that I get out, you want those to be weak. It's like either or I don't have relationships that I can legally lean on, that I can dependably lean on and know that the prison system is going to support me in strengthening those relationships. Because if you get caught talking to somebody on the inside, that could be a parole violation. I'm very grateful you brought him every week because that was super important. Is that the time that he was starting to try to take you out? No, that was when he was started getting upset when he had to take pictures. Going to prison was a whole new ball game. So it sounds like she went to jail multiple times and they'd experienced that together, but they would have never expected her to be sentenced. You can only go to jail so many times before the judge is like, mm. Going from jail to prison, we actually got to take Dominic to actually see her physically. Sherry supported me during my time in prison by giving me the blueprint, basically, how to do prison productively, positively, not get into trouble. Okay. Jennifer did not care. She didn't have a care in the world. Now she cared about a child, but that's all. And that's it's two mentalities when you get incarcerated. There's the can't get any worse, F it all. And there's the I'm at rock bottom, I can only go up. And it looks like she was in mentality F it all. And her friend, knowing and probably having been through, who knows if she's a mother, but having been through the transition from F it all to rock bottom up, she was like, girl, you have a baby on the outside. You need to go up from here. Because all the F it all mentality is going to do is show you that there is a bottom under that bottom. Do not do your time like that. I was very nervous and very apprehensive of failing in the area of my child. That transition period, it is a lot. I really hope that in the future we are all still very happy, very healthy, doing the things that we want to do, not things that we are forced to do in order to survive. Ooh, doing things that we want to do and not things that we're forced to do in order to survive. And that's what happens with a lot of people that end up in carceral punishment environments. They weren't even doing what they wanted to do. They were doing something that they felt like they had to do. And I'll see you in the next one. Let me tell us don't hit it's not good. I just gotta tell us don't hit it's not good. Just let me don't hit it's not good. Every time you try to say something to me, you make it seem ain't got the time to speak your face. If it's I'm seeking peace, ain't got the time to waste the extra minute.